Welcome back. This time as promised we're going to have a look at attributes. Now an attribute is something that you store about an object. In this case I've got a milk jug here. So I'm going to call it milk jug but sometimes I might just want to say drink milk. So I've got in the other names here milk as a possibility. So I'm standing here with this milk drug and I'm going to drink the milk and we know how to add a verb to do that. We're going to do that in a moment. But once I've had a drink of the milk, unless I have a magical bottomless milk jug, I don't want to be able to drink the milk again. I want the state of the object to change. So there's a couple of ways to accomplish this, but what we're going to look at is adding an attribute. So if I come to the attributes menu, what you can see is I've already added an attribute called full and full tells us whether the milk jug is full or not. Actually, what I'm going to do is just delete that so that you can see exactly what's going on here. So I'm going to say add an attribute and I'm going to call it full. OK, and when I add the attribute, it will ask me what kind of data I am going to store in here. So a string is a load of text, an integer is a whole number, a double is a number with decimals, and boolean is true or false. There are other types, but I think this is enough for now. I'm going to choose boolean because a milk jug is either empty or it's full and I'm going to tick it to say that when we start the game the milk jug should be full now that we've done that we can come to the setup of the object and I can change the setup so that the look at description depends on a script and I can say with the object that if add and then I'm going to, instead of expression, say that uh, object attribute equals. So the object I want is the milk jug. The attribute I want is full. And if that is true, I want to do one thing. So if it's true, I want to print a message saying, overflowing with lovely milk. If it's not full, I'm going to scroll down a bit, so I'm going to add an else. If it's not full, I want to say no milk left. And that's what we'll do here. Okay, so that's our description sorted out. So depending on whether it's full, so at the moment under attributes, I've said that it is full and I click play. Oh, that's left over from a previous experiment. And I have a look at the milk jug. It says overflown with lovely milk. If I started it with empty, it would say no, it's not overflowing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a verb to drink the milk. So I add a verb to drink. OK. And when I drink the milk, I want to run a script. And the first thing I want to do with my script is print a message. And that message is going to be mm, tasty. And then the second thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to set the attribute. So under uh, variables, I want to do set an object attribute named by an expression. So the object is the milk jug. The attribute is full. Notice the quote marks. And I want to set that to false, like so. So now, when I play the game, uh, 
and I have a look at the milk jug. And I can say drink milk. Remember I added the extra name for it earlier. Mmm tasty. Look at milk jug. No milk left. So I'm starting to be able to save the state of things by storing these attributes. Now of course at the moment if I say drink milk it will say mmm tasty which isn't quite right but we could change that in here with an extra if around this to say if there's no milk there say there's no milk there otherwise say mmm tasty and set the milk so that there's no milk left this is kind of getting complex now but I think if you have a play with it you will be able to give it a good go and understand how this works